evening, gents. Evening. Good to have evening. you here. You're like superstars rocking down now with the high fives. Oh, I loved it. it. Um, okay, so at this point, we give our guests a drink. So Ben has prepared something yeah. nice for the yeah, three well, of you. I thought this is a couple, no of, days before snow, you, really a couple of days yeah. before you leave, so I thought I'd get you into the, uh, the right conditions, Not your so. last Not bit. So. Oh, I've got one for you, Muzzy. Bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> you can't drink anymore, you're not old enough. Right? And I just thought I'd get you into the Arctic spirit with some snowballs. Why has oh, Lena got one? Cheers, mate. Thank you. <laughs> Pleasure. We'll share it. We'll share, we'll share it across Muzzy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you can have a sip of his. Um, oh. Okay, guys. Such um, right. Talk to me then. Talk to me about the Arctic rugby challenge. Oh, <laughs> is that, that to make dandruff? you feel at home? Yeah, it's dandruff. <laughs> Conditioning. <laughs> I love it. Is that proper? No. no. I was going to say, is that proper snow? Clearly it's not proper snow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, right then, guys. It's got a drink now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't drink that. Yeah. You don't know what's in it. <laughs> <laughs> right, are we finished now with the snow event? <laughs> Good luck, lads. Right. Thanks, many days. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, let's chat about um, the Arctic Rugby Challenge then. Oli, tell us a little bit about it. Oh, well, we leave in, in two days' time. We leave Wednesday morning and we, uh, we're trying to set a Guinness World Record by trekking to the North Pole. And when we get there, we're trying to play the most northerly game of rugby in history. So, yeah, it's going to be a bit of fun. So, and it's a good excuse just to grow the worst beard in the world. <laughs> I'm so impressed. upset this man behind me has done me in the eye. Totally outdone me. Totally How outdone me. Oh, about a weekend. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. sure it's yeah, yeah, yeah. sure it yeah, yeah. 32 <laughs> years I've been going to try for this one. <laughs> and Tim, um, you're obviously raising money. Sure? Um, who are you raising money for? Well, it's a children's charity of rugby, so it's the Wooden Spoon. So, yeah, we've, uh, there's so many people need our help, so we're in a position to go out and do something crazy. And we're trying to raise over £300,000 for. So please support us if you can. Okay. Lee, I'm going to come to you in a minute. But um, I just want to know, guys, how much training have you had to do for this? Well, we've, we've done loads. We've been, you know, they decided that the only place we could go that was similar to the North Pole was near to your hometown, actually, in, in Wales. So we went to Ogmore. Uh, and Ogmore's beautiful. Ogmore, yeah, it's about two miles from your home. Yeah, it? it's and, not uh, far. How did you know that? Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. And uh, I said I wouldn't tell anyone. And then, um, yeah, and, and we did three days there, and uh, it was sort of all about working together as, as a team and, and, and getting used to, I guess, pulling sleds and, uh, and putting our tents up and the rest of it. But to be honest with you, I, I think the real lesson is about to come when we get up to Resolute Bay and realise just yeah, how cold sure. it is and, and what we're up against. Yeah, and then when you get there, you play a rugby match, but it's not just that though Lee. you've got to put kind of the ground or the pitch together of you and the sticks and or are you going to be doing that no no in order for it to be a world record obviously yeah. guinness are quite strict so we've got to transport all of the stuff up there the cones the um flags the posts everything so the boys will be pulling it all the way i love the way you said that the boys yeah. Yeah. will be pulling it all the way. <laughs> when do you get out there then i'll be up there a bit later on obviously i'm still passing my referee exams no no I've, um, <laughs> i have actually passed um, but no, I'll be joining them a bit later on. Yeah, because... The real reason we brought Maisie out is because obviously, customary to any rugby festival, you need a dwarf to throw around oh. the end. <laughs> and, uh, and that's why Maisie's coming Don't with be us, taking that, so, Maisie. Yeah, Don't be it. taking it's that. It's customary celebration. So, <laughs> so it's going to be uh, Team Oli against Team Tim, and then you're going to be refereeing, Maisie, yeah. yes? Right. Okay, so cool. they've got to be nice, or I'm going to be the first person to send one off yeah, as well. Yeah. Well, exactly. So that one, exactly yeah. that. Well. Right, guys, we do a scroll <laughs> as well when we have guests. Okay. I don't know if you've seen the programme, and I've got just some facts. Okay, we'll start with you, Lee. Uh, born 5th of March, 36 years old. Torquay. Yep. Yep. Um, whole career at Bath. Well done. Um, oh, yeah, you, you were forced to retire because of that heart condition. I yeah. mean, how is that now? Is it, what it... Yeah, I get monitored every six months. It hasn't changed as of yet. So uh, I obviously haven't got as skinny as I'd have liked, but hopefully it'll, you know, it'll get better over time. Well, you've got good tan, though. Yes, thank you've you. You've been on much. holidays. Yeah, well, I was acclimatising. I thought I'd go away and go to some heat in the Caribbean. <laughs> Brilliant. OK, Tim, what have we got here, then? Studied anthropology at Grey College. Sure. So that is the study of evolution. <laughs> That's the study of evolution, human behaviour. Yeah, correct? study of people. That's well done. Yeah. That's impressive. What, what do you mean? And played a lot of rugby, to be fair. And you played a lot of rugby. You did say earlier it was that real snow. So <laughs> <laughs> I was just gauging it. This is true. This is true. Are you doing anything with anthropology these days? Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to make rugby clubs sustainable. So okay. if we understand what people need, then we can try and help them. So that's the idea of part of this challenge and probably the next 20 years as well. Perfect. Okay, uh, and Ollie, you're kind of used to adventures, though, aren't you? Because after you retired, did you not go into sailing? Yeah, well, I did. Yeah, yeah. I, I um, five weeks after retiring, I went and sailed around the world. So that was, uh, yeah, it was uh, a bit different. I'd never sailed before in my life, so that was interesting. I did a thing called the Clip Around the World race, and uh, 
Uh, I got back in July last year and then decided, OK, I've done the water, I now need to go on some frozen water. So, North Pole, wow. here we come. Here we come. Right then, guys, we're going to be chatting some more a little bit later on. Thank you so much for coming on.